Welcome to another episode of Nana Vlogs. My name is Abila Aisha Tamila, Fondi Code Nana. And if this is your first time, thank you so much for joining the family. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you've always been watching my video, thank you so much. Well, today there's something that just that has been trending, and I decided I just have to make a video. Courtesy of a friend who suggested. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Thank you for suggesting I make a video concerning this topic. Well, it is on the story of um Ise. It's um I'm very sorry if I'm not getting the pronunciation, forgive me. Um, well, she's a Nollywood actress, and there's this story that's been tuning about her all over social media. So I decided, okay, let me just talk about it. Well, when I first saw the story, I saw and said, Ikbe Etim removes her womb to live a normal life. And I was, something else came to me, like, hey, why would she move her womb? Why would she, like, why would she move her womb? Like, you know, women, like, you're more, they want to give birth, like, that kind of thing. Once I read more, and I understand and realized the reason why she did so. And first thing, first thing about, I would love to say is that we tend to judge people very fast. And I'm guilty. Because I shouldn't have just assumed, you know, I could have actually just browsed first. But the first thing I came to me was like, why would she move her womb? Okay, well, she has a was condition which was diagnosed um, diagnosed six um, twenty sixteen. So to live a normal life because I think she was going through pain and all, she had to remove her uterus. She had um, a disease called called adenomyosis. So she had to remove her uterus, um, which um, which like she had to undergo maybe like an operation called hysterectomy so that was how she removed it and then she got better and the story she gave she was like when she found that she was very very bitter and tears dropped down her eyes but then her husband was there i know and this will bring me to the next point if you have the right partner in your life things would actually be very very easy for you because they'll always stick by you and they'll always be there that is one of the reasons why we should actually take you we shouldn't rush into things if she had a wrong partner, it could have done negative stuff. It could have left her. It could have just gone on social media and said it. But it's has happened since 2016. And she just disclosed it when she was having like a very little conversation. Okay, she tagged the program, the program conversation with NC, where she had very few people and she shared stories with them and all. And this will bring me to the next thing I want to say. Our lives are not going to be perfect. There are going to be mistakes. We are going to have flaws. There's going to be imperfections. But it is you inspiring your inspiring people around you with your story that make you who you are. If she felt like okay, uh, this is the problem I have, and she just locked herself up, it was not going to be anything. She she, she, she wouldn't get anything good out of it. But then she inspired people with a story, and maybe somebody might like have this um. So when do I get better? Should I put it that way? Because there are lots of women who are out there and maybe they have issues, but because they are scared of what society will say, what will people say? If she's living her life to please others, she's just going to keep being in pain. But because you you know what you're you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. In the society we are in, a woman you should you should give birth. Why would you remove your womb? That's what they'll be saying. But life has changed. You have to live yourself live your life to please yourself first like put yourself first before any other person so my own opinion is that i think what she did was actually very very nice for herself and she has to live a life for herself and giving birth does not make, make you a failure not giving birth does not make you a failure when as far as you're in, in inspiring people with your words your works and doing good things thank you so much see you next time Bye bye